Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker Down Under. I am in Melbourne at the moment for the premiere of my movie Art Lovers Unite with Vivian Westwood, hence why I am here. It's early morning, super sunny, beautiful weather. While we're talking about Hermes, Birkins and Kelly's allegedly sold in heaps fake in Russia, allegedly at the Russian Hermes boutique, more or less. Listen, let's get to all the deets right after you subscribe to my channel uh push the join button next to the subscription button become a member today and gain access to extra perks you can also join me on patreon for extra perks and thank you to all my members and patrons have already pledged this video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience i live stream every saturday and you're all welcome to join the conversation in the live chats actually let me cue them in let me move to the side there you go guys welcome everybody so listen uh, I want to I want to say thank you to uh, Alessia who just sent uh, me this article while we were actually chatting uh, together in the live chats and then uh, Alessia who's in the chats now I think still with us thank you so much for letting us know about this and, and then I jumped to check an article the saxon.org reported that at the warehouse of the brand Hermes in Moscow the original bags were replaced with fakes that's the headline so basically um, this article is a bit weird because at a certain point in the article, they mix what happened in Russia with the meta Birkins, which is a totally different story. So Saxon org or org Saxon, uh, the sac, the Saxon.org, get your story straight, honey, boo, boo, cha. But anyway, if you, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, just my opinion, not rooted in facts or reality. Everything's alleged. So listen, so apparently what, um, what has happened is that one particular lady who I'm not going to name, but she is named in the article. <laughs> um, one of the managers at Hermes. Since between 2014 and 2022. She was a commodity specialist replaced allegedly original goods with copies made in China and sent replicas to retail outlets to Hermes boutiques. And, and then she took the real branded uh, bags, Birkins and Kelly's for herself and sold them online. So they say that uh, the case is being investigated. Store employees suggest that this lady managed to replace at least nine bags at a price of 10 thousand euro each probably even more because i mean if some of these were well i guess it's harder to replicate like exotics you know but like more regular leathers so i guess ten thousand between yeah i guess between seven thousand and twenty thousand euro per bag so if she's been doing this for many years first of all could you imagine the amount of people that purchased from the ms store like People who actually got offered to buy a bag and then they got, <laughs> and then now, now those people, like who's liable legally? I'm thinking to myself, so if these people now find out, all of these customers find out in Russia, so already they got issues because you know what's going down with Russia at the moment. And now they find out on top of that, that they have fake Birkins and Kellys that they spent a bunch of money on, like is Hermes liable for this? Does Hermes have to give them the real bag instead? Like, do they have the right to demand a real bag or to demand their money back? Or does Hermes have the right to say, sorry, that's not our problem. It's this person. It's this person who tricked you. So this person has to pay you the money or this person has to give you the authentic bag. I don't know how it works. I wonder, but also, I mean, I guess this is not, you know, it's not like this woman was, uh, no, this is not how it works. Anyway, um, because this is how it goes. If she is, um, you know, for every authentic bag that comes in and she has to then place into boutiques, uh, if she's going to replace a fake one, well, first she has to find a fake one that, uh, is that colorway, that model, of the authentic one. So obviously she can't easily uh, just buy a fake of every bag that comes through her hands and replace 
the fake for the real one. You know, that's why that's why I believe not so many, not too many of these fakes were sold because it's also difficult to to get the, the, the faked replica in in time before you have to send out the authentic and source it out to the boutiques. You see what I mean? So I think this is the reason why uh, not way too many of these fakes were distributed in circulation. But then again, we could also speculate that maybe there's definitely more than what they're telling us there is of these fakes just because they want to do some damage control, allegedly. I'm talking, I'm thinking for Hermes now, allegedly. You know what I mean? Like they might be saying, oh, well, the story broke, okay, but maybe let's try to limit the trouble. <laughs> like, you know, let's say there's less than 10, 20 bags that, that were sold fake. Maybe there are more, but I, I, I can envision that it could be difficult for this uh, fraudster to actually find the replicas in time to replace them with the, you know what I mean? Because what are the chances? You get lucky, maybe some replicator has the bag in stock and you can order it and then you you can do a quick swap between fake and real but otherwise it would take too much time so I, i'm thinking this is why not too many bags were but anyway even one is too many even even if one fake hermes bag slips through the cracks and ends up being sold at an hermes boutique as an authentic bag that's already too much even if just one slips through the cracks, that's already too much. You know what I mean? But are they trying to keep this number of how many fakes were actually sold low so that we don't find out that they have so many fakes? Hermes, what games are you playing with us? Probably the most requested color, says M. I also think it was something like that. Jane says, is this the real reason why the Hermes stores in Russia shut? <laughs> oh my God, Jane. Yeah, it, it's like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Divana says, imagine getting a fake after your journey. Yeah. Imagine if that was your journey, your journey towards a fake Birkin, but for the price of a real one. Was she arrested, Claudine says. I, it doesn't say in the article. Liz says, what about the unique bag codes and stuff? Don't they like track them in their system? Like when they sell them, there should be proper record and stock a reconciliation. Unless, unless she was in cahoots with the replicators and she told them, hey, this bag has this stamp inside with that code. And then they just stamp it with that code. That's also an option. Liz says, uh, sorry, see, Lara says, but if you bought one of the fakes, how do you prove to Hermes that you got it from them and that you're not trying to swindle them with a fake you bought elsewhere? Tricky situation. Oh, Alessia says, uh, Alessia, Alessia Bagstory says, gold and black colors were the ones faked. So, I guess if we know which colors were faked and if you know the, the years you bought the bag in and those were the bags that this lady was swindling you, you know, selling you fakes for real, then, and you have, you still have your original receipt from Hermes that you bought it in that boutique, then you have a really good claim. That sounds like a trend. No trust anytime soon. Wow. Not very cool. How about the ones not caught yet? Yeah, exactly. Tina, it's a mess. Paige says, Vicarious liability, not applicable? I don't know. Not a lawyer. <laughs> M says, probably the most requested colors. Alex says, no, no. Hermes was ordered by Paris to close. <laughs> now, it was a joke. Jane, of course, Jane was just joking. Marco says, yes, vic vicariously or under consumer law. Fafili Trump says, my question is, how did they find out? Who would authenticate a bag they've bought in the boutique? Maybe they were onto her and uh, they just caught her red-handed. Like maybe they, they set, set her up and figured it out. But Alessia says, no, we do not know its assumption. Uh, oh, about the... Audrey says, she probably had fake customers coming into the store and uh, swapping bags over after they were shown. 
She's also the manager. I imagine everything was controlled by her store, etc. major operation. No, I don't think that she was the manager. What I understood from the article is that she was uh, the sorting manager, meaning things go through her hands before they get into the stores. So she would already bring into the stores the fake one. So it's not like that the real one actually arrives to the store and then within the store she swaps it. It seems like this was, it seems like from what I gather that uh, she was the one responsible of kind of managing and delivering the, the bags to the boutiques and she would swap them before they would hit the boutiques even from what I gather. But maybe I got this wrong. So you guys tell me in the chats if you know more. Um, M says, but they can make super fakes in any colorway on Reddit. And yes, you can actually ask the sellers to put the internal codes as you like. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, the Birkin is still a thing. Oh, yes, Marion, it always is and always will be, at least in our lifetimes. Caroline says, I'm telling you, Putin has a new hunting bag collection, LOL. Liz says, a couple of years ago, one Russian celebrity gave another celebrity a Birkin bag. The latter then brought it to the Hermes store for spa sometime later and they refused to take it, claimed it was fake. Farinalda says, uh, then I'm sure that sales associates from this boutique were the kindest essays from all the boutiques Hermes around the world. The only one who offered to the clients Birkins without problems, allegedly. Liz says, I wonder if it was one of those fake swap purchases. I mean, those happen too, you guys. On top of all of these prob problems, those happen too. Um, I just watched this TikToker lady make a video. She was Nordstrom's or Neiman Marcus, I don't know, somewhere, um, you know, where they have like different brands all set up together in one area. And she was looking at shoes, Yves Saint Laurent. And then she's like, oh my God, you guys, she started filming. And she lifted one of the shoes and she said, look, the logo, the Saint Laurent logo is not correct. And then she lifted a second shoe next to her. She's like, look, this is the Saint Laurent logo. So basically, and then she like turned, flipped the shoe upside down. She's like, the bottom sole is also really plastic and bad. And there's like glue residue on it. It looks like it's a, a replica, which it was. Allegedly. And then she, she's filming this, right? And then she calls the store manager or somebody working there. And you know, those workers, how they're like, well, well, this is definitely something that now that you brought it to our attention, we will pass it on to the responsible department. Uh, and she's like, these are fake. What is there to investigate? You know, because they were kind of telling her like, yeah, we have to look into this. She's like, look at these two shoes. This one has a logo that's completely off. It's the font is wrong. The shoe is made wrong. And literally somebody bought the authentic shoe and brought back the fake one and you accepted it. They didn't take it off the sales floor. They were just like, okay, we'll look into it. Nobody cares anymore. Nobody cares, you guys. Nobody cares. Audrey says, oh, that makes sense. She was responsible for managing the stock. Oh, she was she was laughing then. Yes. Jesus says, um, so her job was quite easy. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently so. Apparently so. It was a quite easy job. M says, imagine being those clients. I would cry. OMG, imagine paying for a fake in a store, says N. Margo says, I could never buy Birkin because they scratch. I probably will go crazy. Well, the leather is really good. I mean, let them scratch. That's part of life too. Kath says, Jacob, can I just say you look amazing tonight? Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And uh, subscribe. Never give up on love.